We're going camping for a week and I'm putting together a meal plan. And so I thought right now would be a great opportunity to try out some of these emergency survival food kits that I've purchased. And so I'm going to go through each one and let you know which ones we're making and just let you know how they taste, what the quality is like and all of that. This is the Ready Hour four week food supply bucket. This is the Ready Wise emergency food supply bucket. This is the four week survival food kit from Four Patriots and it came with a free 72 hour survival food kit. So let's take a look inside of the tote from Four Patriots. Here we have an assortment of items such as maple brown sugar oatmeal. That might be good for breakfast on one of the camping mornings. Frank's favorite Alfredo. Let's see the instructions. So with this, you just open the pouch, stir in eight cups of boiling water, and then let it cook for about 15 minutes. And it's supposed to be just a kind of an all-inclusive meal there. And let's see, there's something in a white bag, let's see. Potatoes O'Brien. And then I see over here we have something with vegetables in it. Creamy rice and vegetable dinner. Looks like everything's pretty packed into here nicely. It's all clean. Um, looks pretty good. So I'm going to select a, an assortment of these items to test out. Now let's take a look inside of the Ready Hour food supply kit. First thing I have here is chocolate pudding. And this is bucket um, two of two. So there may be different things in each bucket. More chocolate pudding. An orange energy drink mix with some vitamins in it. I guess that would be good in an emergency, although I'm not sure what the ingredients are. Let's see here. Sugar, citric acid, oh, has artificial flavors, yellow dye, red dye. That's a big no-no for my son. So that probably wouldn't be great for us in an emergency. Home style potato soup, another potato soup. Here we go, here's a Southwest rice. That might be good for a dinner one night. Let's take a look at the ingredients. Uh, not too bad, but it does have some ingredients in there. And now let's take a look inside of the Ready Wise emergency food supply bucket. Here it has, well, this is nice. It has all of the nutrition facts about each one. And I'm just taking a look over them. I mean, of course, with any of these packaged items, it's going to be just like in the grocery store with some ingredients that you may not like, but this is an emergency food supply situation. Now, this looks like some of the food has come out of the bag, actually. That's not good. An emergency food supply situation, you are definitely not going to want uh, products that look like I smell teriyaki too. Um, it actually looks like something made a mess in here. So that's not really good in an emergency situation. Uh, this bag is filled. Uh, let's see, tomato basil soup with pasta. Let's take a look at those ingredients. Uh, looks like the ingredients aren't as bad, but again, it's an emergency food supply situation, so you're probably going to have more of those ingredients you don't necessarily like here. Potatoes and chicken flavored pot pie. And that sounds like a meal a family could eat. And let's take a look at those ingredients. Not too bad. I actually appreciate some of the ingredients in this bucket more. However, chili macaroni. I don't like the fact that some of these busted open because that's going to be a waste of food that is not actually good in an emergency. So I'm going to pick out a couple of items and compare them. So the first thing we're going to be trying is this Ready Wise uh, chicken teriyaki flavored rice. And I've made up some sausage and peppers ahead of time and onions just to throw in there. It has a little bit of liquid in it. My gripe with this particular brand here is that the packaging does not include instructions. The only thing that they included um, was the uh, calorie content and ingredients and all of that on there, but they didn't say actually how to make this. So I'm gonna guess, you know, some of them say about four cups of water for the package. So I'm going with 32 ounces of liquid and I have an extra little bit of liquid in the other. So this is looking good so far. 
Ooh, let me get the absorber pack out of there. They keep it packed fresh. Um, this keeps any of the liquid out. Has a nice teriyaki flavor um, or a smell. So hopefully the flavor is going to be good in it. If you just want to take a look in here you see it's got a lot of seasoning that's where all that teriyaki flavor is probably going to come from and then bits of vegetable in there so i'm going to just go ahead and add my liquids to this and i'm going to cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes um, just to let that rice cook through and then i'll come back and show you how the final product looks taken a few minutes probably about five to come to a boil but it's starting to boil now so we're just going to put the lid on and let that cook for i'm guessing about 12 minutes right it has just finished cooking it is piping hot and it looks like it's made its own gravy uh, let's give it a taste test now and see if the rice is cooked number one and kind of what flavor it has going on. It's supposed to be teriyaki. It smells a little bit like ramen. Look at the consistency there. It's pretty decent consistency. It's really hot, so I'm gonna cool it down a little bit. Mmm. The rice is done. Kind of tastes like minute rice. Um, has that consistency of minute rice, but it has a good flavor. It's teriyaki, but it almost has more of a little hint of a like. Chinese orange flavor to it. It's pretty good though. I am gonna add my onions and peppers and um, sausage to this. I have some beef sausage in here just to give it more sustenance. Um, if this was a real survival scenario, I wouldn't just wanna live on rice alone. I'm gonna put this in here and heat it through for about five minutes just to warm it through. This is all pre-cooked. All right, so we're having a community meal tonight. So the next thing we're gonna try camping is the old fashioned vanilla pudding. I'm inside of a friend's garage right now getting ready for our community meal. Uh, this is from the uh, Four Patriots milk kits. And it's kind of along the same lines as all of the other milk kits. Um, one thing that this does have in it is a lot of it's like sugar, modified food, corn starch, creamer, which is made with coconut at least. Um, but it has some other ingredients in it. This is really just, if you're in an emergency situation and you're wanting to have some sort of a dessert because humanity is just going crazy and apocalyptic, um, maybe you want to have a little vanilla pudding and have just a good old fashioned experience to help lighten the mood. So here is the powder that's in here and you're just going to mix in it's a two and two third cups of cold water so i'm just going to pull my oxygen absorber out of there that's what i always forget to do um, so i'm just doing 16 ounces here and then i'll do a little less than half of this bottle to get the two and two thirds that it's calling for and then i'm just going to vigorously whip this with a hand whisk nothing fancy um, for about five to six minutes Take a look in there. I mean, this is just almost like your run-of-the-mill vanilla pudding. So I will whip that up and come back and show you the result once I slice up some bananas and throw some vanilla wafers in there. So now the banana pudding is made. I just slice up some bananas and then I put these organic vanilla wafers, the 365 brand, into them. All right, so we have Jola here and she's going to be our honest taste tester. She's going to try this banana pudding and and she's gonna just give us a review and say what she thinks about this. <coughs> All right. You look like you are deep in contemplation, Joella. How is it? Seven. A seven, like a seven out of a ten. Mm -hmm. What do you think of the pudding itself, the vanilla pudding itself? I don't really like the pudding. Cause yeah. I never really liked pudding, but 
Okay. The two add-ins make it good. Okay, the bananas, yeah. Those are real bananas, obviously, so those are good, but uh, the cookies are like an organic vanilla wafer 365 brand. What do you think of the cookie? The cookies good. were good? I, I like okay. it. I also really like the Nilla ones that they have. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, like the, the Nilla wafers, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for trying it. Hey guys, so tonight it is chili cook-off night and I am making chili mac. I'm gonna make three bags of these and that's gonna require um, four cups of water per bag, so about 12 cups of water that I have going on here in the pot. And then it just cooks for 12 to 15 minutes. A couple of things I like about this ReadyWise already is that it has directions. Um, that's something that the other one didn't have. And also most of the ingredients are pretty natural ingredients. So I have elbow pasta, wheat flour, a couple of the vitamins, dehydrated vegetables. Um, there's not a lot of things in here that I can't pronounce. So that's great. And then also on here it says, <clears throat> if you are in an emergency situation with no access to a heat source, I have a heat source here but you may be caught in a situation where you don't, then you can just empty uh, the same amount of water, the four cups of water into this package, and then just let it sit for 15 minutes. May not taste like a five-star meal, um, but at least you're gonna get what you need in an emergency situation. So let's see how this goes. So I've just opened up this chili macaroni and it smells amazing. So per the instructions, I just add the contents, give it a stir, turn off the heat, cover it, and let it sit for 15 minutes. So that's what I'm gonna do, and then I will let you know how it turns out in just a few moments. Alrighty, this has been sitting for a little more than 15 minutes because I was chit-chatting, but it is done now. And this is actually looking like a nice chili. All the noodles are cooked through, I've got some flavors in there of the, um, the bell peppers that are prehydrated. So I'm going to give it a try. All right, so let's give this a try. I can taste all of the rehydrated um, peppers in it. It has a nice flavor. Um, it's still a little firm. I feel like it probably should have cooked over um, like a low temp. The noodles are done, but it's the vegetables that are still a little firm. Mm. It has a good flavor though. Oh, Kelsey. No. Which one is it? Oh no, we've got it. <laughs> All right, we're still here camping and it's time for another meal. Today I'm going to be making the chicken soup from the Ready Wise box. Um, this is a chicken flavored soup. It doesn't actually have chicken in it, um, but it has all of the vegetables and the noodles and that kind of thing um, from the Ready Wise. So right now I've just got some water coming to a boil, uh, about four cups there. It's a little brown because I actually made some uh, beef bacon earlier this morning. Um, and I figured, hey, a little bit of fat can't help, or can't hurt, I'm sorry, the soup. Um, so just left a little bit of that fat in there from the beef bacon. So we'll see how it turns out. Now that the liquids have come to a boil, I have opened this up, removed the oxygen absorber packet, and these are cute little spirally noodles. They have a nice smell to them, just um, smells like dehydrated uh, chicken broth and vegetables. So we're just gonna pour that in, check out those noodles, pour that in. Again, there is no instructions on uh, the ones that are just in the mylar. Um, so what I'm gonna do is do about the four cups of water, which the other ones that have instructions seem to indicate is the right amount. Um, and then I'm going to cook it for about 12 to 15 minutes, which just seems to be the amount of time that, that these indicate. So maybe not a big deal that there's not instructions because it is pretty straightforward um, process of reconstituting these. All right, we'll see how it turns out. All of the ingredients have been added to the pot and I'm just giving it a stir. As you can see, it's just um, powdered bouillon flavor noodles and dehydrated vegetables. All right, this has been cooking for mm, a little over 12 minutes, but let's take a look. Looks like a lot of the spices or the seasonings have floated up to the top. So we'll just scrape that down a little bit, but it looks good otherwise, so I'll give it a try. 
All right, it's all done. I'm gonna give it a try. Smell test, it, it beats the smell test. So that's a good sign. It looks like it has some chopped up celery and carrots in it. Mm. Very hot. Doesn't quite taste like a chicken noodle, but like I said earlier, I'd cook the beef bacon. So um, has more of that like smoked taste to it right now. And just a nice, um, this has like a nice little broth. The noodles are cooked through. Most of the vegetables have rehydrated pretty well. So it's edible, it's survivable, and that's what it's about. All right, tonight we are gonna try three different macaroni products. We have the Ready Wise, Ready Hour, and the Four Patriots. And I'm gonna have my son taste test all of these. All right, we have all three macaronis ready, and Jacob is going to try them. So he's going in blind taste test. He doesn't know, want to know which is which. Mm, that's good. That one's good. Like, and this one's a little more cheesy than this one. Okay. Let's try this. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of this one? It's just like eating a tiny bit of like when you get a macaroni cup and there's some already put powder in it. Oh and yeah. You don't use the reg the packet of powder. You just use the tea sacks in that. Yeah. Just so that which like. one is your favorite? And this one. The the first one right there this in front of you? Okay, cool. Good morning. So we are on day five of camping and this morning I am going to make some oatmeal. Um, this is just an instant oatmeal, but it is the Four Patriots brand that I'm trying out. Uh, so let's see how it goes. So I've opened up the oatmeal. It's um, like a brown sugar oatmeal, so it is kind of clumpy in there for the contents in here. And then I just add eight cups of water and let it cook for two to three minutes. This has been sitting about three minutes. It's starting to thicken. Um, there's probably still a little bit more water uh, not absorbed than I'd like, but I think it will continue to thicken as it cools. The oatmeal is ready. It did thicken up a little bit. It's still not as thick as I'd like it but that is okay. And so now I'm just gonna give it a taste. Mm. It's not actually very sweet. Um, it just has a hint of sweetness to it, just the brown sugar, but it's decent overall. This morning, I'm gonna make the potatoes O'Brien for breakfast with a couple of eggs that we have left. Um, this is the Four Patriots brand, and this one is actually just diced potatoes, onions, red and green bell peppers, and garlic. So pretty decent ingredients. Um, it does have instructions on it, and they work a little different. Typically, you just rehydrate the product and move on. So this just takes a half a cup of water for the half a cup pack or half package, and um, you let that come to boil. Let it sit for 10 minutes, and then once it's absorbed all the water, then you're going to fry it with some butter or oil. So let's see how it turns out. And here are the little diced potatoes. Now I'm just going to pour the potatoes in and follow the instructions. The product absorbed most of the water. We actually had to add a little more water than the instructions called for because it was pretty dry. All right, it's all done. So now we're just going to add some butter, uh, fry it up, and throw some eggs in there with it. All right, what do you think about it? Go ahead and try it. Just take a look at it. Mmm. Topped it with some cheese. What are your thoughts? I say it tastes like it looks. What? That doesn't give any context. <laughs> zoom out. Good or bad? Potato, it has potatoes, red and green bell peppers. And then we added some eggs and topped it with cheese. 
It is edible. <laughs> so you don't like it? If I was in a survival mode, I wouldn't care. All right, good enough. 